Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst Series. In this training video, I will cover the module on Manage Cloud Security Posture Management, also referred as CSPM, in the Microsoft Defender 4 Cloud. The key learning objectives of this module are describing the Microsoft Defender 4 Cloud Security Score, the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark MCSB in Defender 4 Cloud and explain the Microsoft Defender 4 Cloud Security Posture Management protections for your resources. My name is Navneet Kumar and I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. In case you are new to this channel, please do subscribe it for future updates. First of all, let's talk about the security score provided by Microsoft Defender 4 Cloud. This security score in Microsoft Defender for Cloud is a way to measure how secure your cloud environment is. It gives you a score that is from 0 to 100 and based on this, you analyze that how well you have implemented the security best practices and the recommendations across your resources. The key points to consider in this security score are higher the score, better is the security the more recommendations you follow, the higher your score will be. Next is the recommendation. You need to act on the recommendations that are with high severity. You need to decide that these security actions that you take, like enabling the firewalls, using the encryption, or applying any security patches will increase the security score. Next is the improvement, which helps you identify the areas where your security can be improved and gives you the actionable steps to make your environment safer. You can track the progress. You can track your security score time to time to see how changes that you have made have impacted your overall security score. In a nutshell, the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Security Secure Score helps you the assessment and improvement of the security of your cloud infrastructure by following the recommendations, best practices and the uh, security score visibility. If I compare the different security score, then these can be classified into different categories like the service models of the cloud, SaaS, software as a service, which comes from the Microsoft 365 and the category is for the identity devices, which are your endpoints actually, and the applications, the cloud applications. The name of the security score functionality is Microsoft Secure Score and the administration portal that we see is the Microsoft 365 Security Center. Whereas for platform as a services like the Azure, AWS or Google Cloud, the category is different like for Azure it is feature uh, coverage for Azure PaaS services or for AWS provided by AWS Security Hub or for Google Cloud Platform provided by the Security Command Center. This is referred as Secure Score and the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Dashboard is used for this. In case of infrastructure as a service, this is for Azure, Google Cloud Platform, AWS, or for your on-premises resources as well. And the category is supported platforms and it comes as security score. And uh, here, the administration portal is same, that is Microsoft Defender for Cloud dashboard. If I talk about the recommendations, these recommendations in the Microsoft Defender for Cloud are the actionable security suggestions that are provided to help you improve the security of your cloud environments. These recommendations are based on the best practices and the security standards and they help you to address the potential vulnerabilities in your resources. The key points to consider on recommendations are number one is the security actions. Each recommendation suggests some specific actions that you can take to improve the security score. For an instance, it might recommend enabling the encryption, configuring the firewalls, enabling multi-factor authentication for privileged accounts or updating your softwares. Next is the automation. Microsoft Defender for Cloud can automatically analyze your environment and generate the recommendations based on your current configurations and security postures automatically. 
Next is prioritized. Some recommendations may be marked as high priority which need your immediate attention. Actionable. Each recommendation includes the clear instructions that you need to use to how to fix the issue or improve the security score by making it easier for you to take the actions. Impact on your security score is there by following these recommendations you can improve the security score which is reflected in the security score area once you act on these recommendations. Next is the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark also referred as MCSB in Defender for Cloud. As you see that as your security benchmark plus security benchmark for other cloud providers plus security benchmark for other Microsoft clouds becomes the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark. What it is? It is a set of security best practices or you can say the patterns and guidelines that Microsoft provides to help the organizations to secure their cloud environments specifically for the Azure and the Microsoft cloud services. The key points to consider in this are the security framework. It includes a collection of security controls and the recommendations aligned with the industry standards like the NIST or Center of Internet Security, the CIS. Next point is guideline that you need to consider. It helps you ensure that your cloud resources are configured securely by offering these specific security controls and the settings. These security controls I discussed in a previous video of this SC200 series. You can refer to my previous videos on the channel. The compliance, the MCSB is also designed to help the organizations to meet the compliance requirements and improve the overall security posture. In a nutshell, the MCSB is a set of security standards from Microsoft to help the organizations secure their cloud environments and align with best practices. Not only this, but the compliance can also be applied for NIS, DCIS, UK officials or the uh, HIPAA High Trust and PCI DSS kind of compliance you can check for. In the Microsoft Defender for Cloud, the compliance is measured using the Compliance Manager feature and uh, this helps the organizations to assess and manage the compliance with various industry standards like HIPAA, High Trust, GDPR, ISO 27001, NIST, UK Official, etc. The Compliance Dashboard in the Microsoft Defender for Cloud provides the uh, view of your compliance status across the different regulations and the standards. The dashboard shows you the compliance score and highlights the areas where you may need not be you know, meeting the required security or the regulatory controls for the regulatory compliance. It can continuously evaluate your environment against the predefined regulatory frameworks like the Center of Internet Security, CIS, NIST, GDPR, ISO, PCI DSS, etc. It checks your security configurations and settings to determine if they align with the rules for each standard or not. It does the assessment and recommendations, shows you the recommendations to act upon these uh, recommendations. The Microsoft Defender for Cloud provides these compliance assessments based on the controls that are required by the specific, re uh, by the specific regulatory framework actually. If we talk about identifying and analyzing the risks across the environment, then we can use the Microsoft Security Graph, which is a graph based context engine that exists with Microsoft Defender for cloud and the cloud security graph collects the data from your multi cloud environments and other data sources that you have specified. For an instance, the cloud assets, inventory connections, lateral movement possibilities between all these resources, exposure to the internet, permissions, network connections, vulnerabilities, and many more things can be checked by this, uh, uh, this uh, cloud security graph. I will put the reference link for the cloud security graph in the description of this video for your further reference. The attack path analysis in the Microsoft Defender for Cloud is a feature that helps you to identify the potential security vulnerabilities and attack vectors within your cloud environment. The key points to consider in this are like identifying the attack paths, the misconfigurations in case you have any unsecured network ports, weak authentications or misconfigurations uh, uh, there, 
misconfiguration of the permissions maybe permission management is not done properly the vulnerabilities privileges preventions and mitigation is very important uh, key point in this where once the attack paths are identified then the defender for cloud provides the recommendations to fix the vulnerabilities and mitigate the risks like you know improving the access control or patching vulnerabilities or enhancing the security configurations kind of recommendations you can act upon the cloud security explorer in the defender for cloud is a tool that is designed specifically to help you gain deeper insights into your cloud environment security posture it identify vulnerabilities and understands the security risks at a granular level it work hand in hand with the features like attack path analysis and security score we discussed earlier to provide the comprehensive visibility and the guidance for strengthening the security the key points to consider for this uh, cloud security explorer are like interactive security investigations we can do we can uh, have the cloud security explorer to help prioritizing the security risks by highlighting the issues that need immediate attention we have vulnerability and misconfiguration detections that we can uh, fix so through this visualization the cloud of the cloud assets we can uh, uh, check the cloud security explorer to identify any misconfigurations like any insecure network setting improper role assignment or any exposed endpoints we can check we can do the integration with the attack path analysis also of this so this is the cloud security explorer let me give an example for this like how i can use it so let's say uh, i'm concerned about the security of the storage account in azure and uh, using this cloud security explorer i can visualize how the storage account is connected uh, to the other resources and i can analyze its configuration i may also uncover that the storage account has a publicly accessible endpoint or any weak authentication settings in it the workbooks are part of the azure monitor they have been also used in the microsoft defender for cloud which are actually a powerful uh, you know tool for reporting purpose it creates the customized interactive reports for visualization and it can help you in monitoring and analyzing the security posture of your cloud environments with these workbooks the workbooks help you gain the deeper insights into your security data track the security trends over the time and make the informed decisions to improve the security practices the security score over the time system updates vulnerability assessment findings compliance over time and active alerts are some of the key elements that can be uh, added to the workbooks to monitor and visualize and generate the interactive reports well this brings to the end of this uh, module where we talked about the microsoft cloud security benchmark and the microsoft defender for cloud key capabilities in the next video i will cover the module on workload protection in the microsoft defender for cloud so stay tuned and do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet thank you